Assalamualaikum and good morning uh, Today I would like to present about how COVID-19 affect Malaysian job So before that, let me introduce myself uh, My name is Muhammad Akimi bin Muhammad Hafiz I'm from AT110 And my lecturer is Miss Nur Hazwati So, let's talk about what is COVID-19 Well, the COVID-19 pandemic, also known as Coronavirus Disease 2019 which is caused by severe accurate respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2. The novel virus was first identified from an outbreak in Wuhan, China in December 2019. This virus was easily spread worldwide and come to Malaysia in early 2020. This pandemic has not only hit Malaysia but has hit most foreign countries like USA, Spain, Singapore, Indonesia, Japan, and more. Now, I'm going to talk about facts about COVID-19, how it spreads. Well, it will be affect a person by breathing in the virus if you are near with someone who has COVID-19. It also can be affect if you are touching contaminated surface and in your eyes, nose, or mouth. What are the symptoms affected? Symptoms of COVID-19 are variable, ranging from male symptoms to severe illness. Common systems like the ads, loss of smell and taste, fever, and so on. In easy words, this outbreak will disturb the human respiratory system track, making it difficult to breathe. The last one, what the government was to overcome it. Lastly, our government decided to make MCO in order to curse the spirit of this pandemic from continuing to spread wide, which is all countries' economy need to close and infect countries' income. Then, how MCO affected countries' economy and job sector? When the MCO is started, people can move like normal. They need to normalize to stay at home to control the COVID-19 from spreading so that to business or small trader people who need customers to come their market this is half of challenging their need to face it is because uh, customer cannot buy their sales face to face if one of them are stubborn they will be thin so this is example of main economy and job sector are effect in Malaysia there is two First is tourism sector and second business sector. What is tourism sector? Well, if we can see when the MCO start, the entire tourism sector are closed immediately. This cause people from abroad can enter our country and people within the country cannot leave. Traveler will be forced to postpone their trips and need to cancel hotel bookings as well as flat plans it cause many sectors also affect like the hotel sectors pilots flight attendants small traders and many more and next business sector business which is huge sector also are affected it is because when people can get out the off can get can get out of the house sorry their sales want to be sell even more to small trader who only expect customer to come their store to streamline sales especially to seller who sell the item that have short expiration date such as fresh food and so on unsold good will also lead to wastage which will be 
determined to the supply. However, the bad effects of MCO on our country, sadly, there are also those in the B14 family who had to lose their job because employers could not afford to pay their salaries every month due to MCO. Therefore, we can see the number of unemployed in the country is the increasing by day. At the same time, online business or trade and GIG economy increase exponentially. In the commodity sector, whether it's mining plus plantation, so they make up only about 14%. Um, so that means that um, we will not be um, overly affected uh, by any uh, volatile movements in commodities. Mm -hmm. um, we also uh, diversified uh, the source of our income, uh, the trading partners um, and uh, facilitating greater intra ASEAN trade for example. Lastly, conclusion. In conclusion, this COVID-19 pandemic outbreak continues to have a strong impact on the economy and people lives. It's having to change the whole world and give some lesson to us about to be grateful with what we have. Even though this pandemic has given some negative things, but it also have positive things. However, to, to people who can manage their self and time, uh, they can do anything that can help their life to survive in this pandemic like selling and buying online or anything uh, therefore it could not be issue to do the unbelievable action that should not have taken place so that's all from me uh, 